Welcome to How to Alternate Pick. This lesson is going to cover three main points of alternate picking and also explain to you what alternate picking really is and the proper technique on how to do it. So let's begin. Alternate picking is just that. You can play any notes. That's not alternate picking. Alternate picking is just watch this end. How it just goes back and forth. Regardless of what you play, it's just back and forth. It's a very violin-y technique. Because in violin, they bring the bow back and forth like this. So, you can be playing anything. But it's only alternate picking if, even when you're playing on different strings, if it's just alternating back and forth. And it gives you a really harsh, a very Michelangelo body like sound. For the warm up. When you do anything, it's really good that you warm up beforehand, stretch out. Same goes for guitar. Now, before I even pick up the guitar, I like to do some stretches to my hands because it gets them loosened up, makes me play a little faster, makes it more comfortable when I play. So, a stretch that I do is put your hand out straight like that, bend your hand back like that. Now, immediately you should feel some tension right here. That's okay. So, take this hand, just put it right here, and pull back and pull back until the point where you feel stretching in these middle joints right here and just stretching all along right here so just pull, hold that for about 20 seconds, you can do that again but it's not really necessary to stretch for any longer than that and then you can you know, flip your hand over, do it again like that and you really feel some intense stretching right there now on to the guitar an exercise that I find is very helpful on the guitar is doing the chromatic scale. And the chromatic scale is just this. And the name, it, I know it sounds complicated and chromatic, what does that mean? <laughs> it's simply in music theory, a chromatic is a note that's not in the key. And a chromatic scale, it's if you had a piano, it's playing every single note in order. So you're playing the white notes and the black notes. So white, white, black, white, black, white. And it's the same thing on guitar. You're hitting every single note. Now, for this exercise, it's not necessary to play fast. Play at what's comfortable for you. Play how slow it needs to be to where you don't make any mistakes. And just keep doing that for about you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes until you feel loosened up and ready to play. So here's the warm up. Take that chromatic scale which is 1, 2, 3, 4 and just go play one string at a time like this. But also notice this hand, how I'm using alternate picking and each time I play it. Just like that. So it's this. And you can do that all the way up the fretboard, you can mix it up and use your creativity. It really doesn't matter as long as you're warming up your fingers. And if at any point it starts to hurt your hand, stop because you're doing it wrong. And also the same thing applies for when you're sweep picking. 
your finger should be at a 45 degree angle. Because notice, see how I hit that note? Now listen to my B string. It's muted. It helps you play clean. It's a technique that I like to use and it helps, you know, makes you play clean. So, also on this, another thing I notice in a lot of my students is when they're playing, they tend to do this with their picks. And see how I'm pushing my thumb? And I'm just pushing that finger? That's wrong. You don't want to do that. Pretend like when you're ultimate picking, you're a robot. Don't use your elbow like this, but use your wrist like that. So when you're playing, you can do this. Just twist your wrist back and forth like this. But notice, but notice how this right here, where I'm holding my pick between my thumb and my index finger, isn't moving. It's rock solid. So just do this. And that's how you play fast. And another exercise to practice that is just take any note. I like to use this one. And just pound it. help you get your technique up. But what a lot of people do is they tend to play differently when they're playing slow than when they're playing fast. Because when you're playing fast it's almost impossible to move your finger like this. But when you slow down I see a lot of people doing this. That's very wrong. You have to practice slow with the right technique or you're not going to get it fast. It's as simple as that. So good technique equals good playing. Good playing, lots of babes. Now we're on to exercise one. Exercise one is very simple. It's just basically a major scale. Just run up and down using correct technique. So it's this. On your low E string, which is your sixth string, you're going to want to take D, which is your 10th fret, right? So take that D, go 10, 12, 14, and the shape is kind of like you're skipping, so 1, 2, 3. And do that shape on the next string. So. so the thing about this is it's grouped in pairs of two. So that one shape, do do do, is on these two strings. And I like to use my index finger, my middle finger, and my pinky for that. And that's the suggested fingering because when you're going up, right? The next thing is almost the same. Except instead of it's instead of ten, it's eleven, twelve, fourteen, and this will be on your four string, which is also your G, D string. So 